In this part of the video, I'll go through some calculations of lengths inside three-dimensional shapes. So for the first example, we've got a unit cube here that's one meter by one meter by one meter. And I want to know two lengths inside or on the surface of the cube. One's on the surface, one's on the interior. Okay, on the top surface of the cube, from one corner to another, I'm gonna call that X. Actually, it would be the same on any of the, any of the surfaces, right? From here to here, that will be X as well, or from here to here, okay? Or on the front, from here to here. Okay, what is X? And then inside the cube, from one corner to the opposite corner, we'll call that Y. Okay, you could go from any corner to any, any opposite corner. You could go from this one to this one over here. Okay, but uh, just for illustration, we've got this one set up here from this corner here, front, bottom, right, I guess, to this one at the back, at the top on the left. Okay, we'll call that Y. Okay, and we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. And to use the Pythagorean theorem, we need to identify right triangles. So let's think about X first. If we think of this as being the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The right triangle, well, there's a few we could pick, but let's pick this one, this right triangle here. Okay, the right angle is in this corner. Okay, and then one, side of the triangle is here. That's got a length of one. This length here is one as well. And so x squared will be one squared plus one squared. So x will be the square root of one plus one. And that comes to the square root of two, which is 1.414 meters. Okay, which seems reasonable. If we just kind of look at the picture, it seems reasonable that the distance from here across to here, it's got to be bigger than one, right? Just by looking, looking at how the, how the unit cube is, is constructed. If this is one, and this is one, and this is one, and this is one, going across the diagonal like this, that's got to be more than one. 1.4 seems, seems pretty reasonable. Okay, what about from one corner to the other corner though, inside the cube? That's definitely bigger than one as well. Um, looks longer than 1.414 too. Looks longer than going from here to here because we got further to go if we go all the way through the middle of the cube. Again, we've got to think about a right triangle here. So let's think about this triangle here. If we start in this corner, go down here, across the blue line and then back on the red line. That's a right triangle because the right angle is right in this corner. Okay, and for this triangle, one of the lengths is one, one is 1.414, and then the hypotenuse is unknown, y. So y squared will be equal to x squared, plus one squared, but x, remember, was root two. So if I square x, I'll get two. So y squared is equal to two plus one squared, two plus one. So y squared is equal to three. So y is equal to the square root of three. And that comes to 1.732. And that seems reasonable as well, just looking at, at the diagram. Seems reasonable that uh, if, if this is one and this is 1.414, that from here to here would be, would be more than 1.414 and 1.732 seems reasonable. Okay, let's look at this pyramid down here. Okay, so there can be optical illusions that, that happen when you're looking at pyramids. So for this pyramid, I've, I've colored this this side of it yellow just just to try and prevent that optical illusion from 
from confusing you. So this yellow side is kind of on the, on the right side of the pyramid and we can see it. We can see that yellow side. Uh, we can see this front side as well. Okay, the other two sides on top of the pyramid are hidden. So this one here is kind of hidden. Okay, it's blocked by the front. Okay, and then the back is, is completely hidden. Okay, we can't see that. And then the base is, is, is the base here. Okay, all right. What are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out the height of the pyramid, which is, which we're calling X. Okay, from, this is right in the middle of the base of the pyramid, this point here, and up to the apex is the height, which we'll call X. And then we also want to figure out what Y is. Y is the distance from a corner up to the apex. Okay, the information we're given is the base. It's a square base, 16 meters by 16 meters. And we're also told that if we go to the middle of any of the base, any of the sides of the base and up to the top, okay, that will form a, a, a right angle here. And that's 17 meters from here up to here. Okay, so again, we need to use Py Pythagoras and we need to identify a right triangle. Um, so the, it's right here, okay? The right triangle that we're gonna use to figure out X is the, is the right angle. So 17 is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So, and then, but what's this length here? From here to here. Well, remember this point was in the middle of the base. So from here to here must be eight meters. So Pythagoras says X squared plus eight squared is equal to 17 squared. Okay, let's subtract eight squared from both sides of that equation. Then we'll have X squared is equal to 17 squared minus eight squared. 17 squared is 289, eight squared is 64. So X is gonna be the square root of 289 minus 64. This is a calculation we've already done a few times. It comes to square root of 225, which is 15. Does that seem reasonable looking at our picture? Yeah, it seems reasonable. If it's 17 meters from here up to here, if we went to the middle instead and went straight up, that would be a shorter distance. 15 meters seems reasonable. Now, what about Y? Y is from the corner up to here. So that's gonna be a little longer than going from the middle of one of the sides up to the, up to the top. So Y, we should get a number bigger than 17. Um, let's use Pythagoras again. Let's find an, a different right triangle in, to solve what y is equal to. Okay, the right triangle to use here is this one. Okay, where the right angle is in this corner and y is the hypotenuse. 17 is one of the sides. The other side is from here to here. Well, that's half of the side that's 16 meters. So that must be eight. Pythagoras says y squared plus eight squared, sorry, I'm doing it backwards. 17 squared plus eight squared is equal to y squared. Y is the hypotenuse in this case. Okay, so y must be the square root of 17 squared plus eight squared. 17 squared is 289, eight squared is 64. If I add those two numbers together, I get 353. Unfortunately, 353 is not a perfect square. So if we take the square root of that, it comes to approximately 18.8 .8 to one decimal place. Does that seem reasonable? 18.8, .8? yeah. I mean, we kind of reasoned before that it should be bigger than 17. 18.8 .8 is, seems like a reasonable answer to me. Couple of questions to work on. Think about this equilateral triangle with each side length equal to one meter. Remember an equilateral triangle has three sides that are each the same length and three angles that are each 60 degrees. 
what is the height of the triangle? I've marked it on the, on the diagram there so there's no confusion. The height is from the middle of the base here, so 0.5 meters along, all the way up to the top. What is that height? You should be able to see that the Pythagorean theorem is gonna be used to help you figure out what h is equal to. And then the second question, what is the area? Well, if we know the height, we know the base, we can easily figure out what the area is equal to.